How do you manage the subnet in your network? How do you manage the IP space? Hopefully you are using some type of IP management solution like an Excel sheet, the one you see in the screen. But this is not the best way to do it. I mean, if you only have one subnet with 254 addresses, that should be okay. But in large networks with more than 500 hosts, you should be using some type of dynamic IP management solution. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install an IP management solution called PHP IPAM. It is an open source and free software, and I'm going to show you how to install on Ubuntu machine. Okay, I'm going to install PHP IPAM on this Ubuntu version. That's going to be uh, 2004.6 LTS. So if you install in a different version or different Linux distribution, uh, the steps might be different or the result might be a little different. So just take that into account. Okay, this is the script I'm going to use to install all the packages and modules required. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste directly into my terminal. Okay, the first part is done. So now I'm going to copy this line and paste it. Okay, so last I'm going to copy this line and just paste. Okay, so you could just copy all of these and paste it once. The thing is that sometimes some uh, packages or modules might not be available and they're going just to interrupt the installation process. So uh, in case this happens to you, just um, install uh, step by step. And this way you'll be able to identify which package or which modules are not available like the ones that i identify here like php i uh, get text and php recode okay the installation is complete so next i'm going to copy and paste these four lines uh, related to apache and mysql also i have to enable it okay this is done and now i'm going to secure mysql it's going to ask for a couple of messages there, so I'll validate passwords. I'm just going to confirm this. And the password validation policy, I'm going to select option one. That's going to be medium. Yes, remove anonymous users. Disable, yes. Uh, test database, yes. Reload privilege, yes. Okay, this is done. Okay, so now we have to create a database for PHP IPAM. I'm just going to copy this and set the passwords. Okay, done. So now I'm going to create a database. I'm just going to paste. So now I'm going to create a new user PHP IPAM. And this is going to be the password CCIE. Uh, six five hyphen six five seven four five. I'm going to paste. Okay. And I'm going to grant all privilege to this user, and then apply this. Okay. Now I'm going to exit. Okay. Done. So now let's begin the installation. So first, I'm going to clone PHP IPAM. I'm just going to copy this line and paste. Good. Okay, so now let's go to this new directory. So, PHP IPAM, and we're going to copy this file, config this to become config.php, and we're going to edit this config.php. And here we're going to make a couple of changes. So we're going to change. This can be the same IP because this is the local host, but you can change this to uh, local host as well. And here we have to change the password just created. So in my case, I was capital C, C I E six, five, seven, four, five. Okay. And the name is going to be PHP IPAM DB. Okay. 
PHP, I think that's all we need and I'm going to save this file and exit. Okay, so now we're going to import the PHP database into MySQL. So I'm just going to copy this and paste. So now I'm going to type my password and it's done. So now we have to change the file permissions. Just copy this line and the uh, last one okay and now the next step is to configure a patch so we have to go to this folder it's going to copy and here we're going to comment uh some of the options like server admin document root error log custom log and now enter and we're going to paste this to copy this and paste just make sure it's all right and error so the name directory yeah looks okay okay we can save this and exit so now going to the last steps and I'm going to restart a push. Okay, that should be okay. So now if we try to open uh, in a private window. Okay, so I'm just going to local host. Okay, so now I'm going to try to log in. Let's see, admin and IP. No, that should be IPAM admin yes and i have to change the password so ipam admin and i'm going to create a new password pcie uh... okay and the password was changed so now i'm going to the dashboard Okay, this is the PHP IPAM dashboard. And as you can see, it has a very simple and intuitive design. Uh, you don't need much to learn how to use it. So I'm just going to show a use case. Let's add a subnet and see how it's going to organize or to identify hosts in this subnet. So I'm going to create a new section first. So come off sections and I'm going to add a new section and just call this as management section okay so this management we have uh, all the management subnets now inside this management section i'm going to add a subnet so let's go to uh management so inside management i'm going to add a subnet and that's going to be 192.168.43.0.24 and I want to check host status and also discover new hosts and I'm going to add okay the subnet was created so now let's get into it and right now you can see that it didn't identify any host on the subnet so we're going to scan for new hosts in this subnet and we want to discover new hosts and there are different options uh ping telnet snmp arp so it depends on how you want to discover your host because some hosts like windows they might not reply to icmp so that's why you have different options to choose from i'm just going to select ping scan and i'm going to scan the subnet so this shouldn't take long because I don't have many hosts on this subnet and probably less than 10. So, okay, done, it's completed. So I'm going to add discovered hosts. Okay, and that's it. So we have uh, 43, 11, 21, 30, 170, 173. So that's this uh, Ubuntu machine. And you can see here just from this uh, display, okay, which hosts are being used, okay, which ones are available. So for instance, 4321, if I wanted, I could edit these because I know that 4321 
that Cisco I so I could say okay this is actually ice dot one okay and it is being used and I'm going to edit this one not only that I have this um, display here that says okay which ones are being used which ones are free and there's a lot more that you can do so take your time to explore this tool and hopefully start deploying at your company or in a lab environment so if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you on the next one